of the day, you guys. So sorry for making you wait. Oh! So sorry for making you guys wait so long. A lot of things been going on that kind of like hindered me from it, but today we're finally doing it. We're finally getting our entire fuel system redone. I've got everything with me, fuel rails, fuel lines, FPR, everything we need. Hopefully it goes smoothly today. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure Cam's at work today, so it's me and his dad working on the car today, so. We'll see how much can get recorded, but um, I don't like to just film people if they're not comfortable with it. Let's go. <laughs> well, that's what's left of the shell. So that wagon up there is Cam's, uh, Cam's dad's wagon. He's doing a sedan wide body conversion. So he pretty much chopped up the entire shell and that is rocker all the way to quarter. He's gonna go ahead and replace all of that, so get that welded on to his wagon, and uh, should get the wide body look. Proud of them for doing what they're doing. Definitely didn't record as much as I thought I was going to, just because I got super into it, and I apologize, but we took TGVs off of an old intake manifold, actually from the shell over there. Once we have everything ready to go on, we can literally just slap it all in as like one big piece, and uh, kind of just go from there. I also, in preparation for the wheels, have another set of coilovers here that came from my buddy Jake. He drives a 92X. Um, these are only gonna be temporary just to get the wheels to fit so that we can have nice, good fitment. But I know you guys are super excited about that, so that's in the works as well. I don't know if we're gonna get finished up today, but we at least got a lot of work done, a lot of the legwork, so that we can literally just unbolt everything in there and then just bolt this right up. Um, I think I need another T fitting for here because this front in this front line is good. We only get, have one T though. The other one that they sent us is kind of like weird. Doesn't really fit in the hoses properly. So we're probably gonna make a parts run. And also the only other things after this is to do the fuel pump. And honestly, I think just making sure we have all the plugs for the wastegate. Also on the turbo inlet, which definitely 100% has to get clean before it goes on. There's like a little metal piece here that needs to go on. I can't really explain it properly. Cam's dad just kind of explained it to me earlier, so I'm not really 100% sure what it is, but I can try to show you where it is. You guys are probably not gonna be able to see anything in there at all. Oh, actually, yep, I think you're looking right at it. I think that's it. There's like a little metal piece right there somewhere in that area that we need to grab. Really on to now just trying to figure out the FPR setup just because I thought it was two uh like i think it was i thought it was two return one feed or two feed one return i don't remember how this goes so uh cam and his dad are kind of helping me out with this a little bit because i'm not really the best when it comes to fuel stuff i've literally never done anything fuel related so this is kind of like my first first time doing everything so i'm kind of taking their lead on it definitely making a lot more progress now we've got the rails uh fuck got the rails hooked up we've got the injectors in there we just got to connect the lines and everything uh, we've got the front hoses uh, routed up and everything's all good like i said i'm keeping my tgvs so i have them routed up above the motors above the sensors and if you come over to the actual engine bay itself you can kind of see there's not really anything over there like in the way so it should be good these have been soaking for long enough i could probably switch them out but yeah i'm gonna switch these ones out with the other ones should be good Don't fall, buddy. Hi, Cam. Hi. Bye, Cam. Hi. We weren't able to finish it today just because we, uh, I don't have the fuel pressure gauge and I also don't have the plugs for my wastegate. I also, for whatever reason, am not able to get my fucking access port to sync up with my computer again, so we're gonna have to figure that out as well. So, I'm back home now and I figured I'd just take a second to kind of go over what we actually really did today, so. We robbed some TGVs from the Shell 205 that he had in his in his uh, yard. We put on my fuel rails, put the fuel lines and everything on, have the injectors in there. These lines are all routed and like cut up so that all we have to do is literally take off my old intake and plop that one right back in. So it shouldn't be too difficult. Um, it's gonna be kinda hot in the next couple of days, so we're probably gonna stay inside. So I will put this video out for you so you have an actual video, not shorts. And again, I apologize for that. Then probably, hopefully, like maybe like next Sunday or maybe next Friday, something like that, we'll try to get more videos out for you. But until then, I hope you guys appreciate it. And we got a lot more done today than it looks like. And um, now all it is is literally just kind of take the old one out, put the new one in, and we should be good. 
Um, if you guys want, I do also have like another channel that I'm gonna start doing gaming stuff on, whether it's Forza or like just Demon Slayer or anything like that. I play a lot of games and I don't want that to go to waste, so I'm gonna start doing that too, so at least I can get some indoor videos for you guys as well. I'm gonna leave a link to that down in the description box so you guys can go check it out, which I highly recommend because I will start to post videos on there relatively soon. Anyways, peace out you guys, and I'll see you in the next video, which will also have everything going in and the wheels will finally be revealed. So appreciate you guys' patience.